All right, welcome back to Rob's RC Insanity. Today we're doing something a little different. This is the 4D RC. I believe it's called the M3. It is a little quadcopter. Comes in this beautiful little case. Here's the uh, here's the quadcopter. You've got. You've got props on top and bottom. This one on the back here does nothing. It's just just for looks. Um, this particular model did come with two batteries. These are the batteries. They are proprietary. Uh, they're good little batteries. I think you get about 10 to 12 minutes of flight time, something like that. Let's check all these little pockets and see what we got in there. Nothing in there. You do get your uh, get your micro USB charger. Um, get a little baggie with some spare props, and uh, you've got a, a prop puller in there. A little screwdriver. Um, get your instruction manual. This was the English version. I got lucky. Uh, this does all kinds of stuff. There is a uh, app you can download. We walk over here. I've got the second battery. You can see here it is on charge right now. As soon as that light goes out, that means it's charged. Sorry, my big finger is getting away. So to get this up and running, you simply pull this out, take your battery, you've got two sides on the battery, the one with the little clip goes down, push it in, push it in until she clicks, she's ready to go. Now you do have a camera on the bottom. It's not as good a quality. And you have your front camera. Now this thing does fly a little erratically. I'll set it on the ground here. Get my camera and my, or my phone. Uh -oh, so I just fell. Oh, I just lost it in. Thumb toggle just popped off. I'm not sure where it went. Anyway, we'll try to fly without it. That's no big deal. So let me get this in here. There we go. This is a iPhone 6 in an otter box, and it still fits really well. So what you want to do, press here. Your lights blinking. Okay. Then you're gonna hit your little circle indicator takeoff land button. One short press on that. Well, first you gotta arm it. I'm sorry. Up and down arms it. Short press, calibrate your gyro. And then you can either hit your launch button or just go up on your left stick, get your prop started, and then you are on your way. It's pretty calm out today, so hopefully we can fly pretty decent. does have three speeds. She's a little touchy on the controls. Most drones are. She's 
flies really well. And the amazing thing about this is the price. Bring it back down just a little bit. Twenty-three bucks. That's what I paid for this guy. Shot there. She's drifting just a little bit. Trimmed up. We'll take off. Again. Just left and right, it will not do front and back flips. I guess that's due to the shape of the quad. It flies really well. Like I said, I mean, I paid $23 for this. And that is incredible. I ordered it from eBay. It got here in, uh, I think, three days from the day I ordered it. A little more altitude there. I'm trying to keep it low so I can keep it in frame. It's sunny out, and I can't really see my screen that well. So I'm hoping I'm catching most of this. too far away because you can't see it. It's very small. I've got two more. I ordered two of the 4D RC version 9 mini drones. Now they are very, very nice. They fly extremely well. Let's bump this speed up a little bit. A little breeze just picked up. bit much for it. Bring her down. Try to get underneath it. These are more or less indoor flyers unless it's an extremely calm day outside. And there was no wind when we started this video. And now there is. So, that's the way it goes sometimes. And we're in here. This one gives us a good land. Smooth landing. You hold your takeoff button in. And that must have been battery. That's why it was beeping. Okay. So, what do we think about this guy? Let's turn it back on. And then it 
folks to life again. Alright. Back her out of here. Speed three, fight this freeze. Still not fighting it very well. Still pretty good. She's very sporty. Especially with your turns and whatnot. I have thoroughly enjoyed this little guy. I mean, for the price, it's unreal. My light is blinking. That means my battery is about to die on me. Let's go back to one. And she's down. All right. Let's bring this back in here to the table. Again, this is the 4D RC M3. Go ahead and turn it off. All right, turn my controller off. And on another day, we will fool with the app a little bit. Get this battery out. So we just pop here. Press in on that, pull it out. guy back in his case I love 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 the case I think that is just such a great touch store your batteries side by side right here in this little compartment or you can store one here pull that insert out and store another one there uh, you've got this netting here that's where I keep my charger I just roll it up and drop it right down in here Take this off and show you the controller. Alright, here's your controller. I gotta find that other, that other toggle. It's a, over here on the floor somewhere. But you have your basic trim functions forward, back, left, right. That is your takeoff and land. That is also your calibration. And then, of course, your power button. Now, if you're not using a phone, you just simply fold this up, close it, and just fly like a little racing drone. No cameras, nothing to worry about, just out flying, have a good time. Now, this will slide right here in the case. And then you close everything up. And very sharp looking little carrying case. I really do like this. Like I said, for the money, 23 bucks, you absolutely cannot go wrong. And it flies incredibly well. But if you are outdoors, it does need to be a very calm day. But uh, I have really enjoyed this guy. So if uh, you like this kind of content, on drones and whatnot. I've got this one I'll be reviewing here next. Um, stay tuned for that. This is the 4D RC V9 mini drone. It's also a dual camera. Runs on the same app. Get pretty much all the same things. You can buy a one battery version or a three battery version. I bought both. They're only 40 bucks. So I went ahead and bought both of them. Now I've got four batteries to fly. And again, 10 to 12 minutes on flight, which is really, really well with these batteries. So I really like these, I like these a lot. So uh, 
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.